So, I'm here to talk about the iBB monitor. So, when we found out we were pregnant, I'm one of those fanatics that needs to look up a bunch of information. Um, I'm an ER nurse by trade, so I guess it's just maybe used to different products out there and trying to find out which one I guess is best suited for you. So I have friends that have little kids and they have the monitor that, um, you know, basically comes with a little screen and I thought, yeah, so we live in a two bedroom with a den. The den is what we're using for the baby's room. It is big enough to fit a crib and the dresser and all that stuff. So we don't need, need a big space. Um, so I didn't need a big monitor. It's not like we'll be going very far, but I did want something to be able to watch. Also, the grandparents are in Cape Breton, so that's about like four to five hour drive for those of you not from Nova Scotia. Um, so I wanted something that they could also maybe watch the baby or take pictures or we could take pictures and send pictures. Um, I wanted a few different features in the monitor. Um, you know, you really have to go with what features are good for you. Some want the nighttime camera, some want the ability to listen or play music or um, the temperature. So I really like the iBaby monitor. Um, there's a big round one um, with a little ball on the top. Um, I should have taken a picture, but anyway, basically there's that one and then there's this one. So this one, as you can see, uh, has a hole like in the middle it looks like um, and basically you get it it just came today I'm super pumped and you download the actual monitor it's an app on your phone and it works with Android so here let me get my phone out uh, it works with Android or Apple and basically so this is the other type of monitor my baby care is the app and so you just go on whatever your app store is and download it and it will populate and basically I don't have it plugged in so it's not gonna do it but basically so there's your camera and then there's different features music um, record speak listen it'll show you the temperature it'll show you the humidity it'll also show you if you can see it up there whether your signal for Wi-Fi is good or poor. Um, it was excellent before I came in. And this is basically what you get in the box. So there's the monitor. This is just magnetic, like a magnetic stand. This is my phone cord um, and the plug-in. So that's what came in the box, um, plus a few screws, I guess, if you want to put it on the wall or whatever. I didn't bother, like, um, bringing those in for you because you're going to put the monitor wherever you're going to put the monitor. But basically, um, you can invite multiple users to view your monitor. You can capture and share um, HD videos. You can play soothing music for your baby. So I thought that was really cool. There's already uploaded, like... Mary Had a Little Lamb, Yankee Doodle, um, if you're happy and you know it. And then I uploaded um, the Forever song, the country, country music one, um, just to see. And it plays really well. Um, Two-way speakers so you can pause the music. Like you can play the music to soothe them or you can talk into it. Or you can pause the music um, to try and listen to them. Motion and sound notifications so it will alert you if there's a, a video taken or music playing or the baby's moved. Um, and there's different features that you can like choose. It'll also alert you if like the temperature goes too high or too low. Um, so I really like those features and I like that it was on my phone so I can just have my phone anywhere and the grandparents can have their phone anywhere and we can use it. So the other monitor that was iBaby is about, uh, $185, $175, give or take, um, whether you're in these like US or Canada. Um, this one was $99. So I didn't see that big of a difference why you would need to pay almost double to get the main one. Maybe if you wanted the tilt feature on it, I suppose, because this one obviously is not going to tilt. Um, maybe the camera itself. I haven't like fully, fully 
in depth played with it yet. I just set it up and like downloaded the app. It was really easy to set up. All I had to do was plug the adapter in and then on the back here, so you plug the, their own adapter in, I'll move the, and then this just pops out and it's a USB and plugged my phone into that. And basically you just follow the directions. Like it's step one, step two, the app's already downloaded. And then you can see now what I want, like, are they beautiful, beautiful images? No, I think it says like 720 pixels. Can I see? what's going on a hundred percent. So, you know, <laughs> it doesn't have to be like a camera that you're going to take, you know, these snaps that you're going to post or print and hang on the wall, but it definitely is nice enough that I can see what's going on. I don't have an extra, like everybody carries their phone with them. So I didn't want another camera walking around the house. Um, and then, you know, family from elsewhere couldn't take pictures or like maybe log in and I can like share viewing with them so that they could see what's going on just because the grandparents aren't like hops giving a jump away. So I really, really, really like that feature. Um, it's clean looking. I mean, it, it really doesn't take up a lot of space. Like it came in this box, like, um, it says a smart baby monitor you're bound to love. It's the M2 Pro, and it's compatible with iPhone 5 or later, iPad, iPad mini, iPad touch fourth generation or later, and Android. It includes the um, Pro monitor, so the actual like circle monitor, the camera base, a quick start guide, and it comes in English, French, Spanish, and I think it was Dutch. I don't speak Dutch, so I'm not entirely sure, but there was like four different languages. Um, a wall mount kit, so I don't have that to show you, um, but if you want it, and a power adapter to plug in. So, I mean, for the price, because baby monitors are expensive. And I, I mean, so my son is nine, he'll be 10 this August. And when he was young, I mean, I just got your basic monitor, like you can hear sounds, There's, there was no pictures. Like we were old school in it. Like, you know, back in the flip phone Nokia days, like the big lugs of like, there was this walkie talkie and there was that walkie talkie. Um, <laughs> and so I didn't want to do that route only because, so my neighbor across the street could pick up the signal and hear like our conversations, like, or if we were in the room with him or him crying. And then another time, um, so my, like my parents live on a dead end street. So this is where this happened. So he was asleep. My son was asleep in his crib not even like cooing and we could hear a baby crying from the monitor and we went in and we like shut the monitor off and turned it back on and he wasn't crying and the only other baby that I knew of was way down the street so I don't unless there was like signals crossed I'm not even sure how that ever happened but I mean clearly that monitor was not very good because I mean people can hear your stuff and you're hearing somebody else's. So I didn't like that. Now things are more tech about the baby. She's moving all around. She's like running at a room and clearly doesn't like it. Um, but I wanted something with video, but for the apartment, I didn't want to carry around, you know, like the camera is about this size or bigger that comes with them. And some of them are like $200. 229 I mean if you're planning on having a bunch of kids or you, you live in a big house and you don't want to carry around your phone um and a monitor this is perfect like, like look, look at how tiny that is it's tiny um like this is my hand I can palm it um and it sits really nicely too. Like it just sits on the base. Um, so I like the features for what it was. And it was a hundred bucks. I mean, it was so much cheaper. So definitely more cost effective. And if you're like me, I have nothing. I had nothing left from having my son. It was nine years 
So <laughs> his infant car seat was no longer good. His cribs no longer good. He was like a jumper in it. And, you know, he didn't save any everything. And then this one is a girl. Um, so now I can't even use like some of the few clothes that I saved. Not that I would anyway, because they were more like sentimental, like his hat that he came home from the hospital with, his first pair of like little tiny um, Puma sneakers, um, a jean jacket, a friend had given just like sentiment, a few sentimental like items that I had kept. So I really had to start all over and get everything. And we had a shower and, you know, I was able to get like, we got the, um, of a baby, which I had in my previous video, like the car seat and the stroller system, um, and the bassinet and like our crib, um, and the chair and like our rug, the room was a mess. Um, I'm waiting for the dresser we ordered from Bye Bye Baby, but it's not a big room, so I can't have anything that's going to take up a lot of space. And just to carry around two monitors and like, well, it's a 1,500 square foot apartment, but still. Um, so yeah, I just really like the features, and it was cost effective. And taking pictures, videos, playing music, telling me the temperature, so that saved me. I was going to get one of those grow egg, egg grows or grow eggs, yeah, grow eggs, and um, like there, there's a light in them and a temperature and it, but what's the point if this will tell you? So it saved me from getting that. So, and it's a, just an app on my phone. So realistically, for the money, for the features, you really can't get better than the iBaby monitor. Now, mind you, will I have a different review when she comes out and I'm actually using it? Maybe. But just plugging it in and setting it up and knowing that, like, it's just on my phone. So I can just set it up and go. And it is perfect. It connects to my Wi-Fi. Um, I can record a video. And I can record me saying something to her. So instead of just playing music for her, I could just be like, oh, you know, sh sh like, whatever noise you're, like, whatever you're discussing with your baby. So realistically, um, if you don't want to spend a lot of money and you want a video monitor, and you want it to tell you the temperature, the humidity in the room, the Wi-Fi, if you have good signal or poor signal, um, be able to take pictures, record a video, and play music, then this, not the expensive one, the cheaper one. And I ordered this on Amazon last week. So, yeah, 720 pixel video. So, again, is it the most promising pictures no will you be able to see if your baby is sleeping awake moving yep and i tested it out on myself so i just happened like to catch my arm and like move ever so slightly and it was awesome so i definitely am giving it two thumbs up so far um especially for price so i saved myself like a hundred and some dollars because i didn't want to go with the two system and some of them are not rated well like some of the angel cares um and no offense to any of these products because i have not tried them out or tested them but like i don't i don't see the point unless you have a giant room and maybe you do but i still i don't get to, i don't have to carry something else around and it's tiny and it's offering me all the features that i want um for less money like you know can't we all like agree that that is alone great because then you have to get a crib you're like we we chose a really good mattress and mattresses i i mean until i started looking in this i didn't realize how like the range of stuff you can get yes you can get some cheaper stuff but i wanted quality over like quantity and of course we don't have a lot of room so like instead of buying a bouncer and a swing we got a four moms um mama roo um which i was happy more than happy with um the kikaroo baby infant changer because i like the fact that as a nurse i can like use a white a, like a cleaning wipe to like scrub that down if she happens to pee or poop on it um and just from like things have changed since my son came along and so i had to do more research and the eye baby monitor is rated really well and no wonder it is I mean, 
It leaves money in your pocket to buy something else, like the coffee you might need when the baby comes out. <laughs> um, or, you know, if you want to have like a moment and get your hair done, which I clearly need. Um, I got my nails fixed. Um, can you tell how excited I am over that? Just the little things. But anyway, so again, the iBaby monitor, the small one. And for any of you trying to save money, and I'm sure you can get the second hand. I just wanted a new one. I mean, if we're done using it and we don't have any more kids, I'll be like more than happy to sell this. But I love how clean and sleek it looks. And it's a small box that if we wanted to keep it, we can just pop back in it. And it's perfect for, you know, our distant relatives. So give it a chance. Look it up. Uh, let me know what you think if you have one. Um, if you have any questions or if you have any comments about it, because again, I've only like set it up to watch like a little bit of myself and like play with some of the features. Um, it's not watching my baby, but anyway, I'm still giving it a two thumbs up till she comes out and we actually get into using it for the fact that I don't have to carry an extra like camera alone. Um, and the music feature, cause I love music and I've been playing her lots of music. So the fact that I can like hallelujah by the pentatonics. I've been playing her a lot and she really seems to like respond in my uh, uterus to it. And so the fact that I can upload that song and play it with her, I think is awesome. So anyway, that's my video for today. Subscribe to my channel and I hope you like this video. Um, let me know if you have any suggestions or comments again. And I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.